What's going on my friends? This is Dustin Stelzer with Electrician U and today we are doing site prep for a commercial building. All right, so when we do site prep, uh, what we're talking about is getting this site ready for a building to be built on top of it. So first thing we have to do is get a bunch of heavy equipment. You can see all that stuff behind me. They flatten the whole area. Then they start cutting in all of these beams. Each one of these is a beam and it separates the uh, earth into these chunks. And in doing that, they're creating little troughs so that we can go put rebar all the way across this thing. They're gonna put this rebar structure together. That way when they pour into the form, they've got something really strong because all that metal inside is gonna hold all that concrete together. It's not gonna crack and break as easily. Then we're gonna come back and they're gonna build a steel building on top of this and we're gonna wire everything. So I figured I'd just take you guys along for uh, all of the trenching. We've got several trenches we gotta dig. Dug one the other day. Have a, a, a big tap can right here with three four inch PVCs that go all the way along that trench and go out to that pole. Power company is going to uh, set their secondary. They're going to pull down from that transformer. They're going to come all the way down through our three inch, only through two of them. One of them is actually just a spare. Um, and they're going to go into a tap can. And from that tap can, we're going to go into an MDP. So an MDP is considered a uh, main distribution panel. And it's going to be 600 amp MDP. From there, uh, we've got a couple of conduits that go out to different points along the slab where I'm going to have a few different sub panels. So one of them is going to be 480 volts. Uh, the other two are going to be 208, so we're actually going to have a couple of transformers that are going to be set inside that building with disconnects that feed out and feed that uh, lower voltage to those panels. Today, I drew this little line. You can kind of see it. I walked along and drew this orange line that I've got to get. It's kind of it's kind of cattywampus. I'm not actually going to make it all crooked like that, but I have to clear a path all the way over there. I've got to get it two feet deep, well, two feet to the top of my conduit. Typically, I just go 36 inches deep. That way, any backfill or anything that spills into the, the, the trench while I'm digging, I don't have to go re-dig all of it out. I just lay my conduit. I know that I'm 24 inches to the top of that conduit. So there's gonna be like a separate building over there just for washing. Um, this is like a, a facility that is gonna be used for uh, maintenance for a lot of like trucking equipment, for heavy equipment, things like that that are actually being repaired in this building. So that's gonna be their washing station. So I just have to get this thing dug. I uh, have to get two two inch conduits over there. One of them is just a spare, but I need to get something over that building from this MVP. So that's the gist of it. All right, so stay tuned, my friends. I will let you guys see the progress as this building goes up, as we start wiring it, the whole process. Towards the end, we'll get into the transformers and panels and how I set up panels. Um, I think this will be a good one to cover for a long-term sort of project. Love you crazy people, and I'll see you in the next one.